What's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Cassette Carnage. And today we're going to be blasting Bongzilla's A Marijuana Killer fucking release from Relapse Records. Biggest fucking stoners and some of the most monolithic riffs in my collection. Awesome record. You have some Roper artwork. Just killer stuff. And this... I love this album, I love this band, and uh, I figured why not, because we are going to be discussing Battle Hag's Tongue of the Earth. And just by that artwork, you probably already know what this band is about, because these dudes do the whole entire, like, tripped out doom metal thing so goddamn good. I mean, first off, this killer fucking green translucent cassette is just sick as fuck. And seriously, every single person I've been like, hey, check out this Battle Hag band. This is fucking killer, like psychedelic fucking crushing doom with like these like sad blackened like lyrics. I meant vocals, but like, dude. It's seriously amazing. Like, they go from, like, these traditional Doom elements and then just take you down the rabbit hole. Like, there's parts of this that legitimately sound like early Ohm meets fucking, uh, like, Asander, pretty much. Like, there's a lot of riffs on here that, like, like they, they're kind of sad and, like, just, like, kind of funeral doomy. But then it just like gets really, really trippy and it's like, whoa, this is fucking badass. And just look at that artwork. It really sums up this fucking album. It's just it's just so fucking good. Like it's straight up crushing. And I love it. Like I seriously love this shit. This is the type of doom that, you know, I, I recommend like mostly above you know, other type of doom and stuff. Like, yeah, Funeral Doom's my favorite, but it's not for everybody. Here you have, like I said, the vocals are kind of like uh, a black metal style, like, but everything else is just pretty much as psychedelic and heavy as it can possibly fucking get. There's some Middle Eastern riffs thrown in here. This is just, a fucking monstrosity of a cassette when it comes to the tunes that are inside it's just fucking amazing like seriously i can't get over how fucking good this is and again another one of those bands i just would not have known about if not for transylvanian tapes and uh when I did the unboxing of this, uh, Grim Trash Can said he happened to catch these guys open up a few shows and they're just absolutely massive live and I can, I can fucking only imagine. And you have tracks like Necronomicron, The Book of T uh, Toth, Pro Prophetic, Basilisk, and The Tower of Silence. And Battle Hag is Neil, Dan, Danny, and Grey Cat. This is recorded, mixed, and mastered by Patrick Hills at Earth Tone Recording Company. And the artwork and design is by Dan Aguilar by uh, Arkradish. That dude does some killer artwork, though. I would hit that guy up, definitely, if you're looking for some artwork done. You have some symbols down here. And just the artwork, seriously, it's just, it's just buy the ticket, take the ride, for real, like, it, this is an intimidating record, like, it really is, like, it takes you down this, like, fucking road of, like, it, it, it's really an up and down roller coaster of just killer fucking doom riffs, and then, like, just some, like, like, you just ate some killer mushrooms, and it's just like, yo, like, when you first hear, like, Pink Floyd after, you know, 
taking mushrooms for the first time and you think that a closet is a cave it, it's it's that fucking trippy like without even having a psychedelic substance in your body just the riffs alone fucking a like this is some top-notch underground doom metal and it's very very different like this does not follow any type of trend any type of formula outside of hey we smoke weed and we worship the mighty marijuana plant i mean like a, a track title like necronomicron sounds like it belongs on a cannabis corpse album nothing against cannabis corpse but battle hag seriously decimate cannabis corpse when it comes to well, I know Cannabis Corpse is kind of tongue-in-cheek, but this is some fucking gnarly, gnarly, psychedelic fucking doom metal. And I love it. I seriously love this shit. Like, any type of record that can take you on a fucking journey, like mentally, sonically, anything like that, fuck yeah. Like, this is something, like I said, I suggested it to a few friends and everybody was like yo this is so fucking good like and a couple people even ordered copies of this already like so seriously this is no fucking joke i am going to put the link below like just wait until you hear some of the riffs on here and just how fucking heavy this is like this is described as like tectonic doom so yeah, it's fucking that heavy to, you know, get a fucking label like that. And I agree with that label. This is an absolutely must-have underground release if you're a fan of Doom, Sludge, Stoner, whatever you want to call it. But to me, this is some straight up trippy as fuck, psychedelic, crushing doom metal and like i said like the lyrics and vocals are just kick ass as well i mean the lyrics do not follow a black metal tone at all but just the lyric i meant the vocals just remind me of just like kind of blackened metal like but thrown into some doom it's just awesome like seriously this is the perfect combination battle hag tongue of the earth is some top fucking notch underground doom metal on Transylvania recordings slash Transylvania tapes and yeah just so fucking good and you have five tracks of just absolute like I said just fucking awesome doom metal and you have Necronomicron which I, I personally think Regardless of the, the track title, I think it's one of the strongest tracks on here along with the Tower of Silence when it comes to just like, just, you know, absolute, like a garbage truck drove off the Empire State Building but landed into a vat of LSD that somehow got into the world's water supply and people just started playing tunes and next thing they knew they were chilling with this dude on the astral plane and dropping out of life with bong in hand following the smoke to the rift filled land and yeah battle hag just seriously be on the lookout for this band especially if they're touring and coming to your area because from what i was told this band decimates live and hell they decimate on this just analog format and this is a tape that i really really cannot recommend enough like seriously if you have an open mind or if you're just a fan of fucking heavy tunes and doom metal battle hag is right up your fucking alley and you don't really have an excuse not to check it out because I'm going to put the link below and this is again on Transylvanian tapes and uh, side A is called in the shadow of the obelisk and side two is the edge of the realm and these five tracks are like 11 plus minutes each 
Like, this is a massive, massive album, and it's just amazing. Like, I, I love when bands I don't know about, like, again, this would have slipped completely through the cracks if it wasn't for Transylvania Tapes and James and stuff, like, this is killer fucking stuff, and it's right up my alley when it comes to doom metal, like, trippy, heavy, not too much else I could say, this is just top-notch shit, and, you know, I would get on it before everybody else is, like, you know, wearing fucking battle hag shirts and shit, and, you know, but I, I have a feeling this is going to stay underground. Not because it belongs underground. Like, I, I think, you know, the masses would really be into this. But it was recorded on cassette for a reason. I mean, I'm sure that there's a CD version. I didn't really look into if there's a vinyl version. Because I was so fucking impressed just with this cassette version. This sounds magnificent. My aunt drives this, uh, Lincoln, and it just has this sick, like, uh, I think it's boys, like a boys sound system. This sounded so fucking cool coming out of those speakers, like, I mean, my aunt was just like, what, the, like, this, like, this song's been going on, like, a long time, it's like, yeah, this rules. <laughs> Sorry I smell like a skunk, Aunt Sue. <laughs> But this is so fucking awesome. And again, if you're straight edge and you like Doom, this is still awesome and totally worth your fucking time. Like, I hate when people are like, I'm straight edge, so I don't listen to Doom. What? That is, that doesn't matter, dude. Like, you don't need to be sitting there with a joint like, yeah, dude, like, I listened to Holy Mountain last night. Dude. Check out some Battle Hag and fucking, you know, fucking close your eyes, turn the lights out, and, you know, like I said before, in the words of Dr. Hunter S. Thompson, buy the ticket, take the ride, man. And this is a perfect example of it. $6.66 on Transylvania tapes. I mean, come on. You guys can get enough change to pick this up. And it's fucking totally worth your time. Just a killer fucking Doom release. Like I've said a million times in this review. But this is again just some top notch fucking material. This is a goddamn 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is... There is no real reason. I've just been giving everything like a 10 out of 10. And yeah, this is so fucking good. Just get into this battle hag tongue of the earth on transylvania tapes so fucking good and yeah we've been listening to bongzilla's a marijuanakin again some more killer killer more sludgy side of the doom spectrum but still just a magnificent album here on relapse records and you can pick up Battle Hags, Tongue of the Earth again on Transylvania Tapes. And you are going to love this shit. So, thanks for watching. And yeah, hails.